Hey everyone, I'm Bill. And I'm Wagner. And we're with Cali Moto TV. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome, Alex. Alex got busted earlier because his BMW S1000 apparently didn't have a license plate, so he, uh, <laughs> um, someone else doesn't have a license plate. <laughs> Anyways, we're out here in Boulder Creek. Nice and shiny. You know what you remind me of? What's up, Big Mike? That was Presley, dude. Oh, he's and he's my favorite guy, too. <laughs> Big, Big Mike making an appearance with Doug Davis. Whoa. What do you got, Dougie? Just did the stop and went that way, so yeah. keep your eyeballs open. All me. right, so we're gonna keep it a little slow, but uh, Big Mike, good seeing you, brother. So we used to run up here all the time with Doug. Mike, uh, Mike's just he's just got the dumb money, so he's got his uh, Harley over here with sixteen thousand dollar motor. Stupid. Well, it's on YouTube now, buddy. <laughs> all right, well let's get going. And the lovely Bogna is ahead of us. And we'll get up the hill. Oh, absolutely gorgeous day today. The Ducati is feeling wonderful. Let's see, we're in street mode. So we're gonna switch this out. Get into the race mode, get that stiffer suspension. So we're on Highway 9, so right behind us is the uh, Santa Cruz. So to give you guys a geographic area of where we are. So we're heading up towards the Bay Area, up over the hill. So Highway 9 is kind of uh, two thirds of the way through our ride today. We ride about 120 miles. Hello, lovely. It looks like Bogna got a new tutu to match her suit. <laughs> Gotta be matchy matchy. So, um, so we got up, we got up top, and uh, Alex, who uh, his S1000 was out yesterday, and apparently the sheriff gave him a warning because he didn't have blinkers, or excuse me, a license plate or mirrors on the bike. So they gave him a warning. So he packed it up and decided to come up on his little crummy. He's not doing too bad. It's the uphill stuff he challenges with. But we got the Dougie behind us. Tom's out right there and a few other people. But a gorgeous day in the Santa Cruz Mountains. So we um, we actually trailer the bikes down here. It's about 90 miles down here. This is why we don't make it here as often as we'd like to. Barry S is about, you know, 20, 30 miles from the house, but it's about a 90 mile ride down here. Then we do about a 140 mile loop and then 90 miles home. It's just, uh, it's just so tiring. The 90 so, uh, miles home are brutal. What's that? The 90 miles home are brutal. So we, uh, we just say, you know, trailer it down and then we can relax home. But beautiful ride today. How's the S1000 feeling, babe? Wonderful. I'm loving it. Loves that thing. It's so smooth and just, you know, predictable and then it kind of moves. <laughs> I'm loving it. Yeah, we come up through Body Dune, you weren't far behind us. Mm -mm. Yeah, when it opens up a little and I can actually see where I'm going. Yep. All good, huh? So our usual spot where we stop for our lunch is Nine Burger or what do they call it now? Roadside Cafe. I don't know. I don't know why they changed it from Nine Burger. Such, such a cool name. But Roadside Cafe. Gosh, you can't ask for better weather. Um, let's see. Let's get the clock around here to the 80 degrees. 78, excuse me. So 
where the Ducati sounds amazing. Uh, it's a little loud. A uh, little loud. <laughs> but abs everyone absolutely loved it. Um, it just it, it pushes so much air out of this thing now. It's so crazy. I mean, you stand. 10 feet beside it and it and and you crack the throttle and the thing just barks out air just all the way to you it's so opened up it's so so crazy to think the restriction that this had before and now the amount of air that it's pushing so interesting to see how this will do on the dyno in the in the coming time once we get ready for it So I'm going to squeeze by you, babe. And uh, away we go. That was Doug's cue that it's time to go. So let's see if we can keep up with him. He's definitely getting used to his brand new BMW GS1250 with the shift cam technology. And of course he's giving me crap because I just did the video with the uh, the Tiger saying that this is the best adventure bike and he says, well I got something else better to say about that. Now, I didn't say it's the best bike up here. I'll say, Doug, first of all, Doug can get on anything and just rip. So it doesn't matter what he's on. I think that if he was on my Tiger 1200, he'd be ripping on that thing pretty good so so it doesn't matter that he's on this BMW 1250 but you can see he just absolutely rips so we used to we used to run up here all the time in the past Doug is so quick. I can't even. It's crazy to imagine that we used to ride up here all the time like this. Like, wild. And he gradually, he gradually went from sport bikes to to uh, the XR, and then finally he got in the GS and. He's really found his mood in that GS. I mean, I definitely can tell you, I, I can't be moving like that on my Tiger. Enjoying the ride, we're finally getting comfortable in this thing, and uh, whew. Doug's got me tired, Dougie. Where'd you go, brother? Caught up with a little traffic back there, but. I'm getting tired, you guys. I'm definitely not in the shape I used to be when I was running up here before. <laughs> well, I hope you guys have enjoyed the ride. The old stomping grounds with Doug Davis racing. back for the second section of Highway 9 and 
and uh, first section's nice and tight. This one's big and sweepy. And there's Douglas. So let's uh, see if we can keep up with Doug this time. <laughs> Gorgeous up here. One of my favorite roads. Like I said, we used to live, so I used to live basically on the other side of this hill in San Jose. Yeah, so we used to run up here every weekend. So a little getting used to, but you know, it's kind of like riding a bicycle. You never really forget. Uh, this thing pulls like crazy. Ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> so I'm I, I'm with bad influences today, so Bear with me, I'm usually not like this, so if you guys have come across this and think that I'm just a mad rider, this is a rarity. I usually try to keep... Pretty decent, but... But also, on this thing, getting in the groove of it, it feels just amazing. And uh, I'm loving it, I'm loving it. I ride this thing the way it's... Designed to be ridden. And I know, I know, I know. I know what you're saying. But some of you guys have asked for this, so uh, here we're going to pick up the pace just a little bit. Doug Davis racing. I want to link him. He's got some crazy videos. I'll tell you. Get up here. What's up, brother? Oh, we got a little. VFR is going to show us how to ride with this bad body position. <laughs> <laughs> I really hope this guy knows how to ride. Wait up for the others. Ooh, that was a good one. Let's get across here. Get up with the Douglas Davis. It's like where'd the little interceptor come from? 
horrible body position. I was hoping, I was hoping for the best. <laughs> I was like, yeah, I was like, geez, I hope this guy doesn't stack. <laughs> Doug. So good to have you back here, buddy. I love riding Can with you, brother. You a little something good about the GS for me? Uh, you know, I spoke, I, I said, this guy will smoke okay. anybody. Okay. But thanks for the ride, brother. And uh, thank you guys for the ride. Calimoto TV, welcome to uh, Four Corners, Santa Cruz. And we're going to San Francisco, uh, Palo Alto's that way. But here we are. And uh, thanks for hitting that subscribe button. Smash that like button. Leave me a comment down below. And let me, oh, I know who he is. Um, leave me a comment down below. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the ride. Please don't give me too much crap. Um, I know, I know, I know. Pull again. But they've been asking to see this thing in action. So, guys, we will see you guys soon. Uh, hit that subscribe button, smash that like button, comment down below. Yes. See you next video, Dougie. All right, bye, guys.